Hey guys, how's it going? Kripan here. Now, yesterday I talked about how the construct, the standard format, will be probably ruled by the Inspire cards, and Arena is already ruled by the Inspire cards right now, but it's it has a very different twist in Arena, because in Arena, even though the Inspire cards have made some of the biggest differences ever, uh, in Hearthstone, uh, it doesn't impact the game exactly the same way. And this largely has to do because in Arena, while you can skip out on the big minions, you can get the Inspire cards instead of them, you still don't have the other big game swinging cards. It's very difficult to get enough healing, it's very difficult to get any form of board clears or removal in a lot of decks, and a lot of classes at least. So. Arena is still a game where, while the Inspire cards do rule that environment, the style of play is entirely tempo-driven. Um, I've played Arena, you know, in, in the recent past, it's been so much more competitive. You see every single player has a one-drop on turn one. This used to be, like, such an anomaly, you know, a year ago, you know, maybe two years ago. And and these days, it's just it's just the norm. Uh, it, it's a very big shift from what the Arena system used to be like, but uh, it, is, it is just so tempo-driven. You have to have the one-drop, you have to have the two drop. If you skip out on one, you better hope your two or your three is an amazing two or a three, so you stay in the game. And yeah, there are going to be those games where your opponent will have a big board clear or something like that, but those those are actually more of a rarity, and those will continue to be more of a rarity. Blizzard really is not introducing many forms of board clear. Uh, Blizzard has always been pretty stingy on releasing healing cards, so it is it is always going to be the case from what we see, from what we've seen in the past, that Arena is just going to be all about tempo. The recovery tools are not really there, but you know you just have to draft as as well curved as you possibly can while cutting out the late game and including things like inspire minions, including things like discover minions, and just playing on curve as much as possible. This is the, the, the main thing that people need to realize. A lot of people who play Hearthstone pretty casually, you know, they check out an arena they haven't done in a few months or a year, and they get absolutely demolished by some of these openers because, yeah, this is the game as we know it in terms of arena, and it's very important to adapt and realize the important aspects. Today, I just want to show you guys a bunch of clips of uh, some of the most crushing tempo battles I have experienced in recent time, so you guys can get a better grasp on what I'm talking about and realize that um, when, when things are going as they are, we can't really expect anything different to come about. So, I hope you guys enjoy the games. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. some damage because it's better tempo. Greed? Yeah, but the muster for battle is so insane. I have to play a little bit greedy in order to gain tempo. If I just fan on Ives right away, I'm still losing, but if mm. I play a minion, I can start winning. Not on Now I'm winning. Yes, I took some damage, but that's how tempo works. You have to invest your hit points. I hate a few of their games. I don't see what's wrong with that. What's wrong with hating a few of their games? A few of their games suck ass. Most of them are awesome. The battle. That's so unlucky. Be trifled with. Whoa. The plays. Yeah, I'm just gonna do this. Oh. 
That was a pretty good sea witch. My eyes are open. That's fine. Alright. How do we move on from here? I think we have to leave up the venture coat, which is pretty bad. High tide. Right, we're gonna do that. Don't worry, loves. The cavalry. It's mostly because the card in his hand is the card he drew last turn, so it's just a random card. It's probably like a two drop or something. If it's flame strike or fireball or frostball, yeah, we're gonna die. But if it's not, we should be okay, because uh, if he goes face, he has to play a very slow game. That's fine as well. Okay, we have to ping, so I can't really play that much anyway. I might as well arc into like now. So, we're gonna ping that. We can torch that. We, we just have lethal on board right now. So let's play the snow chugger because we can freeze a big minion instead of having to kill it. No, oh, we won. Pretty good. The main issue is much like the game that we lost, where we can't play good things on curve, while my opponent is playing very good things on curve. These are problems. Of course. I think I'm just gonna doom guard here. It's a pretty reckless play, but if we can get ahead on tempo, we can maybe just win the game from that. WTF. Yeah, well, we were behind an hour ahead, and we shouldn't have to tap until turn 7, so we should get favorable trades until then. I should make up the value that we lost. We're at 30 HP after all. We've got a crap load of taps left. Don't worry, loves. The cavalry team. Get in! You'd never make that play. I think that play is going to win us the game, though. So maybe it's a play you can learn to make. And it's just a pain in the ass to move all, move all your shit over. That's pretty annoying. Well, no, if I do the other trades, I can hit face for five. That's pretty good. But I leave him with a minion, which I don't like. I think I'd rather leave him with no minions. So let's make this play. Follow the rules. In in Diablo, you die because the server disconnects you and puts you in the game for another 20 seconds. In Path of Exile, it's, Path of Exile Hardcore is, is reasonably well designed. There we go. He needs a Murloc that is charge. No charge. Oh, fuck. Well, that sucks. Hey, that's pretty good. But I can't play both, so I guess I have to play this. I killed the 1-1 instead of the 3-1 because he's playing aggressively for board control and a 3-1 is actually uh, a lot shittier because he's probably going to have to kill a 2-2. I'd much rather have uh, 2 extra health on a future taunt with 2 attack. Why would you do that? Crip got cancer from that play. Why Crip? Reporting for duty. None may steal our My shield for Argon! 
That was just clear. Fuck him. Shush. Like right now, we're just in attrition mode. I draw two cards, he draws one card. There's no way he's gonna win this game. Oh, maybe we have a lethal potential. So far. Yeah, I think that's it. Nine, right? Seven? Yeah, that's it. What you want? do that. Will I? Ooh, that's tough. Yeah, I think it will. Feed the fish, I should be able to sneak in a lot of damage if he has to burn his coin here, and he probably will have to burn his coin here. Possible. He did just uh, play the scarab. That would be really bad for me. Wanted, dead or alive. Mm, wow. I think we've won this game. My tempo this game is just out of control. Curving out is so ridiculous. every minion on the board right now. Pretty hard to do. Oh. For no That's pretty good. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna lightning bolt that. Just so I can play the Kraken on 9 and just bypass the taunt if everything goes badly. So even with a clear, he has to kill me in two turns. Good luck. Even with really good answers, well being behind on that much tempo, it's so hard to do anything these days. Because if he had nothing, I would have won with my play anyway, right? play that is with pit snake if i soul fire that gets pit snake i trade them play the drake there's no fucking way i'm gonna do that okay 
looking. I have more views than the Blizz Journey. Yeah. Construct is not all that interesting right now. Not a big surprise. Well, I'm tapping. Here comes the surprise. <laughs> All right. Well, let's see if we can do it. Yeah, if um, if he got a, a one drop that didn't kill the Yeti, I could play both Drakes one mana apiece. Just started a Brawly Conceited and you got a Tyrion in the pack. Sounds pretty good. Unleash the beast. Oh boy. Them smorking. Well, I can smork too. I mean, it's, it's not that easy to do eight damage on seven man. In fact, I don't even know how you do that. It has to be like another, like another innervate because he already played an innervate, right? Oh man, these volcanic drakes, dude. This deck is like so whatever, but like it's either these or the Doom Guard. <laughs> seven wins. Crazy with this thing. Force of nature, living roots. Yeah, thanks for the support, guys. Thank you. Thank you for figuring out how I could lose. Oh, God. Wow. Alright, well I beat Ironbark. I mostly just die if he has like double swipe or some kind of buffed charger. I can see. Oh not bad, not bad. Look at that! Eight wins! What's up? <laughs>